This is something uh, I saw on the internet, a free energy device, and uh, as you can see it's a battery, uh, a little motor. The uh, battery circuit passes through a transformer on the one side and it comes around here and goes back to the batteries. And on the back side I've got a uh, neon bulb. The neon bulb takes about 35 volts to light up, a minimum of 35 volts to light up. So tell me I got at least 35 volts on the back side. So the argument is I can run the motor and I can get free electricity because when I disconnect this, the motor doesn't change speed. Um, so what's going on here? Okay, well, good question. First of all, let's measure the voltage. Make sure I'm on the proper setting this time. And it's like 2.36 volts. Call it 2.4 volts to make it easy. Um, okay, so then we should measure what's on the back side, which will take a different setting. Okay, hook it back up. Measure the voltage on the back side, which, if you can see that, that bit me. Uh, if you can see that, the meter only shows six, roughly six volts, six and a half, somewhere between six, six and a half volts. So about twice what's going into the batteries. Uh, it just bit me, so I know that there's something in there, but the meter cannot measure it. So we've got some phantom voltage, if you will, that's uh, driving the light bulb. But anyway, I thought it was kind of interesting. Uh, I'll leave the discussion open and you guys can uh, decide what's going on here.